Hey, God bless you this past year. Welcome to Gifted Church Platform. I want to first and foremost congratulate you for staying on this platform. And secondly, you could have listened to the word of God from any place. So staying here with me, I do really want to say thank you. Let's go into the word of God for today. Stay blessed. Amen to the living and everlasting God. Praise be to God. I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is another day the Lord has made and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This is a special day for those of us from Ghana. We are celebrating our Independence Day. Amen. And so we want to thank God for the nation. Ghana we want to thank God for the leadership. We want to believe God. The scripture says if the Lord does not keep the house, if the Lord does not watch over the nation, the leadership they watch but it's in vain. And so we lift up our nation before God before God, and we ask that may his hand protect us in Jesus name and we pray for all nations, we pray for America we pray for Ghana, we pray for England, we pray for all nations, that the Lord himself will be merciful unto us, amen we pray for Israel, praise be to God let me run to my assignment on today, amen I'm reading from the book of Genesis, in the book of Genesis, um, uh, chapter 24, the division 40, Genesis chapter 24, 40, the Bible says now, the Lord in whose presence I have lived will send his angel with you and will make your mission successful. This is a prayer for somebody. The Lord in whose presence I have lived will send his angel with you and he will make your mission successful hallelujah today i came to speak concerning angelic help for your success angelic help for your success praise be to god quickly let me begin to um pull the test in contest for us to look at it so this is actually a verse which is coming out of the mouth of Abraham's servant who was sent to go find a, a wife for Isaac by oath, by by covenant, by a vow. Abraham sworn with him and says, swear by God that you are going to go over and find me, uh, find my son a wife. Now, and everything is difficult about this. Everything is difficult about this. It took God his supernatural power to actually get abraham and his family to come out of that place where they were and so to believe that when you go there and you ask a woman to come with you that that woman will just follow you for that long distance to marry a guy she doesn't know was a challenge but when all the challenges were pulled out of the situation abraham said to the servant the lord in whose presence i have lived will send his angel with you and will make your mission successful all impossible missions need angelic help now when you continue to look at what really happened in this mission you will begin to understand and when i read it i ran quickly and i said this is what i need to tell god's people this is what i need to pray for god's people that angels will help you as I sat back and I meditated upon the verse and the story, everything that happened for the servant to bring Rebecca back to Isaac was like a movie. It doesn't happen in real life. All of you are aware that in real life, the plans you make and the sources you experience are not the same. You will plan A, B, C, D for your sources. And even when the sources happen, it, it, the thing you were be planning to be successful with it happens but you look at the way it happened and you realize that it didn't happen the way you planned it so we all understand that reality has a reality check in it reality goes up and down but in this particular verse i noticed that when the angel who was invisible in the scene was with the servant for some reason everything fell in place and it was amazing that's why i believe and i declare and i prophesy in the powerful name of our lord jesus christ that you will succeed by the help of an angel ridiculously perfect the only thing i will say is that um what happened in this uh, particular chapter only happens in movies because in movies it is directed by humans so they plot the storyline so that the girl will meet the guy at the right place and all of that those things only happen in movies but in reality whenever they take a real life story 
and they want to make a movie out of it they take a lot of reality out because if you put reality in a movie it will not stop it will not make sense because things don't flow the way we see in a movie but in this particular chapter i see the angel literally taking the man and locating the man at the right place where rebecca is going to come and the oh my god i prophesy with my eyes open that may god send you an angel this month may god send you an angel this year to make all things well now the what the I, what really got me so good was the fact that literally anytime you 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 have a situation you have a decision to make you notice that in reality most of our important decisions has to go through more than one person sometimes you if it's a family issue you have to go through the husband and the wife and maybe the uncle like there's always a, a, a different level if it's a business issue you have to get a signature from this person that person and you always sit back and you realize that i have out of the five people that must really make this happen this guy likes me but this guy don't like me so there's always a sense of a, a 50 50 but in this particular verse i come across god's angel literally Oh God, I labosht matik bro I declare that may angels help you. The Bible says that every person that this servant met, everything went as planned. Everything went exactly. No hiccups. No setback nothing everything was smooth according to the voice of the prophet Abraham. And that is what I came to declare over your life that may angels help you. You can't do this by yourself. Your mission in life is impossible. Without angelic help, you have unnecessary enemies. I declare in Jesus' mighty name that may the angel of the Lord come and help you and grant you success. I prophesy that anytime you make a phone call, may the right person pick it up. Oh, a, a, an oil of prophetic influence just drop on my inside. I got to give it to you. I declare in the invincible name of our Lord Jesus Christ that anytime you come to a place of interview, may the interviewer like you by angelic help. I speak in the name of Jesus. That any, I prophesy that some of you, your managers don't like you, but I come as a servant of God to prophesy that make the angels of the Lord work for you so that you will get favor. I speak in Jesus' mighty name that may everybody in your path who must sign a paper for you, who must give a reference to you, may the angel of the Lord who helped Abraham's servant, the same angel help you to make your mission successful. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is well. It will happen. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you.